Now we discuss about polygenic inheritance. To understand polygenic inheritance, first we have to understand qualitative characters and quantitative characters. After we understand about qualitative characters and quantitative characters, we can easily explain what are the polygen and what is polygenic inheritance. So first we have to start with the qualitative characters. The characters without having continuous phenotypic variation or with few distinct phenotypes are called as the qualitative characters. As you know, according to classical genetics or Mendelian genetics, all characters are qualitative characters having two alternative forms or two contrasting forms. Now, we will explain this by taking the character height. Here, height is a character which have been two contesting form, tall and dwarf. In between tall and dwarf, there is no any other forms of height is present. Being there is no any other forms of height present between tall and dwarf, here height shows two phenotypes, one is tall and dwarf. So, height is the qualitative character. Similarly, color of the piece sheet. Here, color of the piece sheet now showing the two phenotypes yellow and green. In between yellow and green, there is no any other forms of color present. So, the color of the piece sheet is a qualitative character. Being the qualitative characters are having only few phenotypes. So, a single gene with two alleles or a single gene with multiple alleles are sufficient to control a qualitative character. Next come to the quantitative characters. The character which showing the continuous phenotypic variation is called as quantitative character. Now we will explain this by taking height of the human. Actually height is a quantitative character. Suppose we are having a class having many students. If you ask all the students to stand on the basis of height, then we will have a wide range of height. Some are tall having height 6 feet, some are dwarf having height 3 feet. In between tall and dwarf, there are many forms of heights are present. Like height point 8 feet, height point 5 feet, height feet, 4.8 feet, 4.5 feet and 4 feet. So, due to presence of many forms of heights, between tall and dwarf, it makes a continuous phenotypic variation of the height from tall to dwarf. Being the height having many phenotypes from tall to dwarf, so we say height as the quantitative character. Similarly, now come to skin color of human. In human skin color, there are many different forms of color like dark, fairly dark, mulatto, very light, light are present in between very dark and very light. Due to presence of these forms of color between very dark and very light, it makes a continuous phenotypic variation of the color. So, the color is a quantitative character. Being the quantitative characters are having many phenotypes. So, a single gene with two alleles or a single gene with multiple alleles are not sufficient to control the quantitative character. To control the quantitative characters, the two or more genes are required. So, the two or more genes which control the quantitative characters are called as polygenes and their mode of inheritance is called as polygenic inheritance. Now come to the common example of the quantitative characters. The characters like height, weight, intelligence, color, etc. are the common quantitative characters that are found in human population. Whereas the plant height, size, shape, number of seeds, fruits are the common quantitative characters that are found in our the plants. Next come to the common quantitative character that is studied by the scientist. Perennial color in wheat was studied by Nelson L. and East. Corolla length in tobacco was studied by East. Fruit size of tomato was studied by the Lindstrom. Ear length in maize was studied by R. Emerson and East. Skin color in human was studied by Davenport. Now we will explain 
polygenic inheritance in details by taking the skin color in human. Now come to the skin color in man. The skin color of human being depends upon amount of the melanin pigment that present under the skin. The individual having more amount of the melanin pigment they appear very darker whereas the person having less amount of the melanin pigment they appear fair. So the concentration of the melanin pigment in skin that determines human coloration. The synthesis of melanin pigment present under the three genes or the synthesis of the melanin pigment in human being is controlled by three genes or three allelic pairs. Capital A small a, capital B small b, capital Z small c. Here the allele capital A, capital B, capital C are contributing allele have the capacity of synthesis of the melanin. When the person having more amount of contributing allele, the person appear very dark. Whereas the allele small a, small b, small c are non-contributing, they have no capacity of synthesis of the melanin pigment. When the person having the more amount of non-contributing allele or small a, small b, small c, they are appears fair. When a very dark male or negro having genotype capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C, marry a very light or a white female having genotype small a, small a, small b, small b, small c, small c. The F1 individuals are produced, they show the mulatto phenotype. Mulatto means neither black nor fair. When these mulatto individuals or F1 individuals marry, they produce F2 generation. The 64 offsprings produced in F2 generation, they show seven types of phenotypes. Very dark, dark, fairly dark, mulatto, fairly light, light and a very light. When a person having all six contributing allele, capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C, the person appears very dark. Because of presence of the all contributing allele, all contributing allele participate in the synthesis of the melanin pigment, so this person is very dark. When person having any five contributing allele, this person appears dark. When an individual having any four contributing allele, appear fairly dark. When an individual having any three contributing allele appears mulatto. When an individual having any two contributing allele appear fairly light. When an individual having any one contributing allele appears light. When an individual having no contributing allele and all non contributing allele present appears very light. Because of absence of contributing allele here the non-contributing allele having no capacity of synthesis of the melanin pigment. So, there would be no melanin under the skin, this person appear very light. From the above seven phenotypes, it is very clearly seen that when the number of contributing allele increases, the strength of the character become increases. When the number of contributing allele decreases, the strength of the character become decreases. Here, in polygenes, or in polygenic inheritance, the alleles or genes are having additive or cumulative effect. Here, no dominance, recessiveness, no epistatic and hypostatic are involved. Here, the seven types of phenotypes that are obtained in epigeneration, they appears in the ratio of 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1. Here, we can easily see that the number of individual that showing the intermediate phenotype that is the mulatto is the maximum. So, appearance of more number of individuals showing intermediate phenotype, it is the characteristic feature of our polygenic inheritance or quantitative inheritance. This is the histogram of skin color of human that showing the polygenic inheritance. Here, and in this histogram, we can clearly see that the number of individuals showing intermediate phenotype that is the mulatto is maximum as compared to the individual showing the parental phenotype that is very dark and very light. Now come to some common formula 
that is associated with the polygenic inheritance. So first is number of phenotypic classes in a polygenic inheritance can be calculated by the formula that is 2n plus 1. Here n is equal to number of genes or allelic pair. In case of the blood group we had 3 genes or 3 allelic pairs. So we have 7 phenotypes. Now come to the second case. Number of polygenes involved in polygenic inheritance can be calculated by formula 1 by 4 to the power n. Here 1 by 4 to the power n is equal to the ratio of F2 individual expressing either extreme phenotype. Here this is 1 by 64 then this is equal to 1 by 4 to the power 3 is equal to 3. So here the 3 genes or 3 allelic pairs responsible for our inheritance of the skin color of the human. 